Hi, Jessica Gregg. Well, you're right. We've just learned that state inspectors made an unscheduled visit to this doctor's office today, less than 48 hours after our original investigation aired on Monday night. They've opened a complaint based on our report and records that are already in their files from former employees like the one we interviewed today. The clinic is called Awake Health in Ellensburg owned and operated by Dr. Anna Elprin, a state licensed physician for six years. I worked for her for eight months, almost nine months. I do like all skincare services, laser hair removal, body contouring. Abby Jamison was Awake Health's on-staff esthetician who quickly became alarmed about Dr. Elprin's practice. And it just got to the point where it's like, it's a threat to the community, and I felt like I had to do something about it. This is one of the things that had her so concerned she quit a few weeks ago. Our undercover camera captured Dr. Elprin signing forms claiming that patients have a medical condition that prevents them from receiving the COVID vaccine. We sent four journalists into her clinic who paid up to $200 for the forms, which she signed without asking any of them if they actually had a disqualifying medical condition. Most of our schedule was just new exemption patients. Most of the schedule was people coming in for exemptions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was her primary business? Yeah. Are you running a vaccine exemption mill here? No. Where you're taking payments and signing exemptions with no questions asked? Absolutely not. That's Dr. Elprin in our original story. Since then, she's faced criticism, but she also has supporters. I think it was a little below the belt, and it was, you know, basically a witch hunt on her. Summer Hathaway is a patient who says family genetics prevent her and her firefighter husband from getting vaccines, but only Dr. Elprin would sign their COVID vaccine waivers. We have a genetic issue going on, and no doctor but Dr. Elprin that we've found so far is willing to acknowledge we have a family history. I am not vaccinated myself. I'm, I'm not vaccinated, nor do I agree with the mandate. Abby Jamison said it's not Dr. Elprin's outspoken political views that are the problem. It's not really her standing up for freedom or anything like that. It's just, she's, She's making money off of it. Records show the Department of Labor and Industries fined Dr. Elprin $3,000 in September for her refusal to wear a face mask in the office and that Dr. Elprin denied entry to the inspector. She walked in and refused to wear a mask and cussed her out and told her to leave the clinic. After that visit, she and two other employees who did not want to appear on camera contacted the Washington Department of Health with other concerns about Dr. Elprin. I can't talk on it. It's still under investigation. She wonders what it will take for state regulators to take action. It's really frustrating because it feels like anything we say isn't taken seriously. Again, Dr. Elprin has denied that she's done anything wrong here. The Department of Health, which licenses doctors, will not comment for the story, saying it has open investigations. But the Department of Labor and Industries, L&I, again, today says that it has opened a complaint based on our Monday night report. It's not saying much about inspectors' visit to Awake Health today, except that it didn't shut the business down. L&I says it's deciding its next steps, and we may hear more soon. Greg?